at a tide on his face. If I'm going to hear a compelling thing that's going to motivate me to motivate those people to potentially go to next, war, yeah. yeah. I want to see that. I don't want to see, and maybe what I want to see is a two shot of Aldo also yeah. sort of like. To your point, doing with it. with them all being up there, you need to see somebody at the very back. What did he say? <laughs> what are we doing? Okay, this isn't Mel Brooks. Planet of the Apes. <laughs> oh, Speak up! I want a Mel Brooks Planet of the Apes. Now. I do too. <laughs> but but yeah, it, it it's very very flat, and it would have been nice. We could have moved in on the two of them to get better dialogue yeah. and a better shot of both of them. Right. Uh, and particularly the, the, you know, after Aldo calls order, order, right. it would have been order, order in the council. And then it kind of move in on him to kind of get his anger and frustration. Cause <clears throat> but at this point, Aldo is kind of a villain in the, in the, yeah. and we need to, we need to, we need to be scared of him at this point. And it's, that's what, that's the reason I even thought a two shot of these people. Cause if, you know, we talked about how Culp, if he had that weird little bit of whatever it is that he would do and he got excited, you think about Aldo and, and. Claude has done a wonderful job of bringing that animal yeah. nature to it. Imagine him just like rawr, getting so excited and so upset. You lose a bit of that tension by not cutting in on the characters. So, and then all the general Aldo says one of the like dialogue that always annoys me. He's like, "When are they going to attack? Soon." Well, that doesn't fucking help me at all. Ver- yeah. Well, as so- as soon as soon the end of the minute. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cause Cause, yeah. Because Vir- yeah. Virgil's the one to ask. How long will it take them to get here? Why is Virgil the? Di- he still. I don't. I don't understand why Virgil got kind of stupid. I guess he's just the only other besides Caesar and Cornelius and well, sorry, they, yeah, he, Caesar and Cornelius and, and Aldo and Lisa. He's the only other named kind of talking ape. Yeah, they don't want to pay oh, an extra. And yeah. uh, uh, Mandemus. He's the, he's the one. Eh, he's they don't the want to pay. Yeah. They don't want to pay an extra to do that line. Yeah. They've already paying these people. So. Yeah. By the way, the the shot when Virgil asks, I hate to do this, but once again, I'd already said this before at the very first movie, but that those are some dancers from Jesus Christ Superstar over his shoulder. Those three guys, they all, if you ever go watch the 1970s film, uh, with their big hair. Their and, beard. They're yeah. very uh, look, 70s hair and what's beard. What's up, Buzz? Tell me what's happening. I just know it's going to happen any minute. That's it for this minute. Whenever I start doing musical minutes, it is time to move away. We will be back tomorrow with Minute 60 to wrap up the week. Until then, everyone have a great day. Bye. Bye, everybody. The Minute of the Apes. The minute-